Okay, so this is Dustin Weaver with um, how to sync your Canvas uh, to PowerSchool so that you can get all your assignments. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into PowerSchool. You go into your PowerTeacher Pro, and I'm going to look at this class, Math 3 Honors, right here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, again, PowerTeacher Pro to my grade book. And I'm going to go to the Math 3 Honors class. And I need to set up, go to my settings, and I need to go in and go to Traditional Grade Calculations. And I want to go to Q1 and Edit. And I'm going to put in my category weights. Now, I have three categories that I want in my class. You may have different ones. But my categories are classwork, quizzes, and tests. So those are my three categories, classwork, quizzes, and tests. And I'm going to count classwork as 25% of the grade, quizzes as 25% of the grade, and tests as 50% of the grade. And that's for Q1. I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to go into Q2 and do the exact same thing. I'm going to go to Category Weights, and I'm going to, again, make classwork worth 25% of their grade, quizzes worth 25% of their grade, and tests worth 50% of their grade. So now I've set up the category weights in Power Teacher Pro. So now I'm going to go back to Canvas and I'm going to click on assignments in my Canvas course. And so my assignments are already in um, random sections that are created here. They're already in test, quiz, and classwork here on Canvas. So I am going to uh, just kind of skip those. I'm going to go to the three dots and I'm going to edit the name of this group and just name it T for test because we're going to be getting rid of this group shortly. So I'm just going to name it T for test. I'm going to go down to the assignments that are in my quiz category and I'm going to rename it Q. So we know that those are my quizzes that are in there. And then I'm going to go to my classwork category and I'm going to rename it just C. So you can rename these whatever you want, just as long as they're not the same as what's in PowerSchool. So now I want to import those categories that I created in PowerSchool just a few minutes ago, where I made it 25%, 25%, and 50%. So I'm going to click the three dots at the top, and I'm going to say Import Assignment Groups. And it says, success, we have received your request to import the assignments. So I'm going to then refresh this screen in just a second. And it should have my three groups that I created in Canvas imported. And there they are. Okay, now the only ones that I need is classwork, tests, and quizzes. Those are the three important ones. You see the little arrow shows that they have been imported. So I'm going to now take all my tests that I had and I'm going to delete this group and move all the assignments to the one that's called test that came from Canvas. I'm going to take my quizzes here that I had named Q and I'm going to delete this group and move all the quizzes into this category that came from Canvas that's called quiz that came from the Power Teacher Pro Gradebook. And then finally I'm going to delete the one that's labeled C where all my classwork was and I'm going to move it to 
classwork. Now, all my assignments are now in the appropriate section. Now, if you notice, you see this X here, meaning the X means that it is not syncing with Power Teacher with PowerSchool. So I don't want some of my assignments that are scheduled for a later date to sync with PowerSchool, but I want my assignments that are scheduled for this week to go ahead and sync. So I'm going to um, click this button, and these are my assignments that are due August 28th. And I'm going to go ahead and sync those. And then I also have some assignments that were due August 21st. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure those have that green check mark by it. That green check mark means that they will be synced into PowerSchool. All right. So now I can click on grades. So now everything should be set up. And I'm going to click on grades. And I will have grades here. I'm going to go to actions and I'm going to click sync to SIS and give it just a second. And it says success. We have received your request to sync grades. So remember, in Power Teacher Pro, I had set up my sections. So the classwork category was 25%, the quiz category was 25%, the test category was 50%. Um, and I've also set up what assignments I want to sync to PowerSchool. So now I should be able to go back. I have graded those assignments in uh, Canvas. So these are assignments that I graded in Canvas. So now I can go back. And I can click on this Math 3 Honors course. And you see, after I hit refresh, those assignments appeared and how many I graded. So you can see that I graded 15 of the Absolute Value Equations assignments, 19 of the Getting to Know You assignments, and so on. As I continue to grade these, so if you go back to Canvas, you'll see in my to-do list for the course, I may have more that I need to do. So if you notice, maybe I have four more getting to know you assignments that I need to grade. As I grade these on the to-do list, once I finish grading those assignments, I can go back to grades in Canvas. And I can hit Actions, and I can Sync to SIS. And what that's going to do is it's going to update the grades that I just finished and sync it. So I would um, typically, you can sync them uh, every day after you finish grading. You can sync them once a week, however often you want to. But after you sync those, then your students are now going to see their grade and parents are now going to see their grade in PowerSchool. So when you're ready for them to see their grade in PowerSchool, again, you're going to click Actions, Sync to SIS, and it's going to update anything that you've graded. Um, and then they're going to be able to see all their grades in PowerSchool and be able to see the categories. So notice so far I've only given classwork. So once I have a quiz or test given that I've graded, it will show up in here as well. All right, so hopefully that explains the process to sync your PowerSchool gradebook with Canvas so that you are grading only in Canvas and then just transferring your grades to PowerSchool. All right, have a great day.